How's it going everybody? Uh, I'm sitting here with the Corvette, the LT4. I actually found a um, official GM video and it definitively tells the differences between the LT1 and the LT4. There's a lot of uh, debate out there, you know, as to whether or not this is just 30 more horsepower and it's a slightly different cam. There's a lot to it. So I've got this clip here and I'm going to show it. And this is the definitive end all of the differences between the LT1 and the LT4. And it's a lot. There's more even than I knew. It's it's pretty interesting to watch. If you're into these cars, check this out because this is straight from GM Engineers. And this tells every single difference in detail. Uh, go ahead and check it out. And uh, yeah, I think this is this is really fascinating stuff. So go ahead, go ahead and take a look if you're in LT4s, and uh, I think you'll be surprised. I think you'll be surprised at the difference. This thing really is special. The new LT4 delivers an added level of excitement with 330 horsepower and 340 foot-pounds of torque. It's teamed exclusively with the six-speed manual transmission, and we've tuned the LT4 to take advantage of the transmission's range. It generates its peak horsepower at 5,800 RPM and red lines at 6,300. We we're also able to increase the compression ratio to 10.8 to 1. V8 power has long been the foundation of Corvette performance. It began in 1955 with Zora Duntov driving a V8-powered prototype Corvette to a new speed record in the Daytona measured mile and continued in 1965 with the introduction of the big block V8 in 1970 with the original LT1 and in 1992 with the second generation LT1 1996 will be remembered as the year of the LT4 we used three main strategies in developing this program. The first was we had to go get the performance we promised the customer. We had to do that without compromising durability and last but not least we wanted the engine to look different. If it's a different motor it ought to look different. The key difference in the performance ratings between the LT4 and LT1 is horsepower. The LT4 generates 330 horsepower at 5800 rpm while the LT1 is rated at 300 horsepower at 5,000 RPM. Torque ratings for the two engines are both 340 foot-pounds. To increase the LT4's power, the engineering team concentrated on improving both engine airflow and engine speed capability. In terms of airflow improvements, we start right with the intake manifold. The intake manifold ports have been made larger to enable more air to flow into the motor. That would be futile were, were we not in a position, and had we not opened up the intake port on the cylinder head, in fact, we opened up both the intake and the exhaust port on the cylinder head. The piston has been significantly modified in the eyebrow cut area to increase the compression ratio significantly, another historic and traditional performance improver. And last but not least, certainly each performance enthusiast would appreciate the aggressive camshaft that the LT4 features, uh, giving us camshaft lifts back up in the half inch range, a, a historic benchmark for the performance enthusiast. In terms of improving components of the engine to allow higher engine speed, those improvements were focused largely in the valve train area. First, beginning with the valve springs, they have been made higher load to assure us no valve flutter at the higher speeds. One of the other key strategies is to reduce valve train inertias, and we've accomplished that by actually going with hollow stem valves. Both the intake and exhaust valve are actually hollowed out in the stem area to reduce mass, and then subsequent to that, the exhaust valve stem is filled with sodium for purposes of heat transfer. Uh, the third and, and final area of uh, improvement is a new technology for us as well, and that's demonstrated by the roller tip and axle rocker, again in an effort to reduce friction to allow us to spin the motor significantly faster. The enhanced performance of the LT4 also required Corvette engineers to ensure the engine could stand up to the increased stress of higher RPMs and more horsepower. The first of those is in the area of the torsional damper. Historically, we have used a single mass damper tuned at a specific engine speed to reduce torsional vibration. The LT4 employs a quote-unquote dual mass damper, which allows us two speeds, a low speed and a high speed, at which we can effectively tune out torsional vibrations. The second area of major improvement from a durability standpoint comes in our camshaft and water pump drive system. We have upgraded all the gears in that system to steel, and furthermore, we have changed the chain from a butt-link chain to the much more durable and racing-proven roller chain. 
The final area of durability improvement is in the crankshaft itself. The crankshaft material has not been changed. It is still cast iron. However, we now are employing an undercut and rolling of the fillets. Again, a, a strategy very common to the racer. Shopping for tires used to really rub me the wrong way. That was before I went to TireRack.com. Common to the racer. Finally, the LT4's appearance was also modified. Special red accents on the intake manifold and valve covers, along with red spark plug wires, all help distinguish the LT4. A special Grand Sport identification badge on top of the throttle body assembly on all LT4 engines is a gentle reminder that there's a little Grand Sport in every LT4 Corvette. So yeah, as you can see, there's, there's a lot there, right down to the crankshaft, the valves. Um, they really took, I'd say the first gen small block, technically this is a gen 2. But, you know, for the people who say, oh, it's just 30 more horsepower, what does it matter? Well, there's some engineers with a lot of heart that really went far to make sure that the last original small block Chevy, gen 2, but still pre-LS, was really special. And I think what makes this engine really phenomenal is the fact that there was that heart in it. There was that striving to make one last hurrah in a real bang before the LS came in. And a lot of heart went into making these engines. And that's why I think they're just really significant and special historically. And as you can see, if you watched that, there's a lot of pride. You know, these, these are a really special car. And they're the high watermark for the, you know, what I would call a small block Chevy. Um, so... I hope you enjoyed it. You know, I hope it was interesting to you. And again, it's the end all. If anybody ever says it's just 30 more horsepower, share the video, you know. And as always, if you're into LT4 Corvettes or miscellaneous car stuff like me, please subscribe, you know. And we'll uh, we'll keep doing more and diving into these, these special cars, you know, that I love. And I hope you do too. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great, have a great night. Uh, uh, have a great night.